Hi friends, welcome to today's piano tutorial. My name is Josh and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to play the song LOML by Taylor Swift from her new album. Whether that means love of my life or loss of my life, that's up to you to interpret. But anyways, let's get into this tutorial. So this song is gonna be in the key of C major, which means we're gonna be using only white keys today. No sharps and flats, should be nice and easy. So as you noticed in the song preview, this song really just has a simple repeating pattern for the whole thing. And that's gonna be here kind of in the right hand and we're just gonna be kind of stuck on this C major chord for the whole song. And then we're just gonna change the bass note between all those C major chords, okay? So let's start out with the pattern here on our first C major chord. I'm gonna play the C here with the thumb in my left hand and then in my right hand, I'm gonna do E, F, G, and C. And this is kind of the way you wanna position your hands for the whole song and it's gonna keep it nice and simple, okay? So for that pattern, we're just gonna start here on our C chord and that's gonna look like this. All right, if I were to count it, it sounds like this. One and two and three and four and. All right, so nice and simple there. First time, C, E, F, top C, and then next one, root note again, and then C or E, G, E, okay? So I want you to just stay here on this C major chord here at first and just practice that and make sure you get it down and you're able to play it consistently at a nice steady tempo. Just like that, all right? Now one thing I wanna point out here, once you're starting to get it consistently, you notice that not all the notes are played at the exact same level of volume, okay? Some of the notes, are just a little bit louder and that kind of brings a little bit more dynamic expression to the song, making it a little bit more interesting. Instead of just playing everything straight, you might hear notes like this top C or the top G at the end, those get a little bit more emphasis. You know, that's a little bit exaggerated maybe, but if you start doing it more and more, you'll begin to feel it a lot more naturally. And you can listen for that in the original song as well. So keep that in mind as you're practicing. Once you have that down, now all you need to do is change the note in the left hand. So we're keeping that C major chord in the right hand, but for the pattern here in the that we're gonna use for the start, we use this in the intro, the verse, and the first part of the chorus. We're gonna start on C, then go to A, and then go to G in the left hand, and we're gonna play that pattern twice on the G in the left hand, okay? Altogether, those four bars sound like this. and then we just repeat that. Okay, so that's kind of the A section of the song, basically the first variation. After that, we're gonna go on to our B section, second variation here, and this is what we're gonna use in the pre-chorus and in the second half of the chorus, all right? And that sounds like this. Okay, so as you saw there, we're using the exact same right hand pattern for the most part. One slight change we'll talk about in a second. The left hand notes you need to learn. F, A, G, and then again we'll repeat that G, okay? Basically the same thing as the first time, but instead of starting on C, we start on F, then go to A and G. All right. Now, as you saw there, it's gonna be the same pattern for our C over F chord. But then when we get to our C over A chord here, this time we're gonna change it a little bit. Okay, just the slightest change there. Everything stays the same, but instead of going E, G, E at the end, we go E, C, E, okay? Now that can be a little tricky. If it's harder for you, I like to play it kind of here with my thumb in my left hand, but if you wanna just kind of shift your right hand down and play it like that, you can do that as well. You see what I did there? But for me, a little bit more naturally is to play it like this.
Okay, so that's really the only variation you have to look out for in that section. So I want you to listen to the original song and listen for where these different sections fit in. It's really just these two main sections and you're switching back and forth, but listen for that. There is one last section that we have to look at though, and that's gonna be the bridge. Again, the right hand is staying basically exactly the same and we're just gonna change the bass notes in the left hand. So we're gonna start on a D, we're gonna go to E, then F, then we're gonna walk back down, do F, F and G, just kind of walking up that second line, okay? So let me play through that. Okay, that's pretty much it. There's just a couple things I wanna point out there. As we're walking up in the left hand there, we go D, E, F, and then typically what we do is we kinda of stay on that third chord for a while, for two measures actually, but in this case, we're going to go F, go back down to E, kind of in between. So it sounds like this. So you see we're kinda of just changing that bass note a little bit qu more quickly than we have been in the other cases. And then at the end, as you saw there, you get to that G note, and then I just kind of like to omit the right hand, just kind of like you hear in the original song. Pretty much that's everything that you need to know to play this song, LOML, by Taylor Swift. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know down in the comments if there's other songs from this album that you want to see a tutorial for. I'd be happy to post a few more maybe. Hit that like button and subscribe so that you can see all of my videos in the future. Hope you have a nice rest of your day. See you next time.